at 1 a.m. on the 22nd of December 2008, just outside Kingston in the U.S. state of Tennessee. Residents were awoken by a booming noise. As it was pitch black outside, no one was able to see the 4.2 million cubic meters of coal fly ash slurry that was moving across the landscape. It was about like, you, if you can imagine, a, a volcano erupting and, and uh, you know, a lava flow, and it basically just, it just ran to the lowest point. So running to the lowest point means rivers, embayments, and it just filled in these areas, you know, uh, till it ran out. What had happened was that a dam had burst. For over 50 years, the state-owned power company, TVA, had used that dam to wet store ash from the local coal power plant. Now, the gray slurry covered an area of 1.2 square kilometers. It was the largest discharge of wet coal fly ash in U.S. history. TVA's immediate action uh, uh, upon the, uh, the spill is they it was a, all hands on deck. They brought every force they had here to, to try to make sure that the uh, community was protected and that the river was cleaned and to get things right uh, back, back the way it was. And you know, we've been working on it for two and a half years. This is the East Embayment. This is one of the areas that was affected by the ash spill. So we actually had to pump the water out of this area and uh, excavated the, you know, the material out. And now it's uh, restored back to a, a clean embayment. I, I've actually had a lot of people say that, that uh, it, it, it's better than it was. So it, it's a good looking body of water now. But still, there's a lot of ash to be collected. The reconstruction isn't expected to be finished until 2014. So despite the 40 degree heat, the work goes on relentlessly. The equipment that we're using now is appropriate for the, the tasks that we're trying to do, and those tasks include uh, excavating, hauling, stacking ash, and that's one of the biggest challenges we've got going now. We're, you know, we're basically just uh, moving material, trying to get all the material we can back into the impoundment. To be able to face up to this challenge, TVA has required almost 40 articulated haulers from certified Volvo construction equipment dealer ASC. The reason that Volvo uh, has been successful at this site is due to the increased load capacity, the hauling speed, fuel economy, and the uptime or availability of the vehicles. Eventually, uh, it came to the point where we now have over 30 vehicles on site, replacing most other brands. TVA, which stands for Tennessee Valley Authority, supplies over 9 million people with power every day. 700,000 of which are supplied by the Kingston Coal Plant. Such large operations come with big responsibilities. That's why TVA has taken the task of cleaning up the ash spill in Kingston. In doing so, however, they're trying to look at the positive side. I think, I think there, were, there were several good things that came out of, out of this you know, tragedy. We are committed to uh, putting the, the, the area that was affected back better than it was before. The area where we're standing right now, they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna be doing a, uh, there'll be a boat, boat dock and a park and some pavilions and stuff like that for the community to come in and, uh, you know, recreate, picnic and stuff. They're, they're gonna be of a, a beautiful uh, addition to the area.